Justin, Ryan, back again, back again on the right side with uh, the cleanest Mitsubishi I've ever seen. That, with, like half this video that, or half this, during the majority of this video shoot, we're just trying to figure out why a car that has been driven has paint like this. How there's no swirl marks, there's no anything, there's no paint chips, and where's my odometer? Okay, the equivalent of over about 150K 100... 150K yeah. miles? Yeah. The, this car has had a life, but it, the only place where there's like, you can see that there's wear is like the shifter has been used and there's some smudging on the auto button on the HV, HVAC controls. Apart yeah. from that, and... Yeah, otherwise it doesn't look like right. they drove it. No. <laughs> it must be like one guy on the highway. <laughs> yeah. And then at some point spent stupid money... Yes. Either getting this thing painted the same factory paint and then buffed and then cut and then cut and then buffed until this thing's a mirror. And th there's this bit that I'm going to have in. We, we filmed it where you're literally waving through the paint yeah. from like from like a 45 degree angle. Like yeah. you can see I was looking right at you. too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Jesus. OK. Very, very light clutch. Much lighter than the Subaru. Oh, my God. Yes. Um, Everything about the Mitsubishi is lighter feeling than the Subarus. Even if this is ultimately a heavier car. So we got a... I'd like some heat, but not too much so we can talk. What does auto do? Oh, auto just blows heat. I want I want just a little bit. <laughs> Light, medium, high. high. <laughs> LMH, I don't know that I've seen that before. I also love the push button drop down. Uh, the HVAC extra steps. Yeah. This is uh, this is a little bit, and it's also not. It's also uh, dampened. It open. It's a yeah. soft open. Yeah. On a tiny little piece of plastic, that we would never do in the U.S. The only thing that comes close to this is the over the top Cressida, um, which had a button, which oh. came oh. out. My dad is a Cressida, and it's breaking now. Yes. Yes. Because it has plastic gears in there. Yep. Yeah, so, kind of like our window gears mechanisms back then. Mm-hmm. So, it's in centigrade, so you get to learn that 30 degrees is pretty warm. I think somehow we have the air conditioning on as well. Oh. All right, AC off. <laughs> Close that. That is not dual zone, it's just dual fan. Side. The thing is, when, I, when I turn yeah. it all away and give it to you, I still get a little bit out of here. A little bit, yeah, but it's like it's like the forced the forced induction is yeah. There. It's kind of just like uh, ambient. So I'm gonna make sure I'm low beam and then low beam f fog lights, which you've also learned that this has high and low beam fog lights. Yes, which is the first car I've ever seen do that. Yes, I've never seen that. I am excited to see that tur that digital turbo. It's it's uh it's <laughs> it just Grand lights. National esque. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I like that as well. I also like the A and B trip odometers in the cluster. Yeah. Just in case. So. Yeah. It does not have peel on rear tint. That is a piece of plastic fitted to the rear window with cutouts for the defroster. So if the owner doesn't like the rear tint, they just take that piece of plastic cover off the rear window. So you told me that you replaced something in the transmission and it needs to break in in third gear? Oh no, we just put new gear oil in it. It's been sitting oh. for a little while, so oh, we okay. new fancy gear oil in it. So just, you know, 30 year old gearbox. Once they sit, we put the um, red line lightweight shock proof in. Um, this works really great on older older gearboxes that have seen some miles. Can, I, can I move my seat back a little bit more? There we go. All right. So this is a, uh, this is a PDG 27. A red line of 7,000. That wants to rev. Yeah, that wants to go. Woo! Yeah, okay. It moves. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So this is a. Uh, oh my goodness. Giveaway number 27, uh, 1992. The this, last this year. is this is way fast. This this yeah, is this faster. is faster than a than 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 the Subaru. Yeah. This, this is, is factory. This is the original Evo engine. My goodness, uh, this thing is... Oh, this is horse. good, this is good. Yeah, it freaking moves. And it's okay. like so buttery smooth. Yeah. It's weird. It is 
is way faster than the JDM WRX. Yeah. And it doesn't look it either. It's just this boxy holdover from the 80s, but it's a freaking rocket. Oh my goodness, this is good. Did you say this is four wheel steering or is this? Is oh, this, yes. Oh, so okay. This is the first ever four wheel drive with the Viscous LSD, four wheel steer, four wheel independent suspension, and four wheel ABS car right before the R32 Skyline did those things as well. This came out in 88. Skyline came out in 89. This this is deceptive. It's freaky, right? Yeah. It's just like, it just wants to go. I'm in fourth gear. There's fifth. Okay. It's like normal below three, but like above three, it drives like a snap rat. Yeah. It, it has the sensation of, it, it, it sheds its weight. Yeah. It feels a little bit like when someone does, I have yet to drive, I've driven turbo Miatas, but I've never driven the factory Mazda Speed. I drove Miata. one. Yeah? Yeah, uh, not, not surprisingly underwhelming. Okay. It's slow. I mean, there, it runs, I don't know what's running. Oh, okay. Six, seven, half of those. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it was 180 horsepower, it felt, it felt like 180 horsepower. Okay. Even in a car that, that still relatively light. You know, okay. Second gen, right, an NB Miata. Then the one I was driving, the ones I were driving were aftermarket. More boost. This feels like that. Yeah, yeah. More boosts. They they would they would feel right. Yeah, you know, like it just it just wants a freaking rev. Oh, that needed more. Five thousand is money. Oh man, yeah, this is. Train. The, yeah. uh, okay, this thing is. First, it's going to surprise everybody. It doesn't look fast. Although you got noticed at the gas station before this. I did, I did. How much, my friend? Uh -huh. It's not for sale, brother. Uh -huh. But you can win it, primetriver.com. Yeah. <laughs> someone's gonna, gotta get that in. Someone's <laughs> gonna buy a hoodie and freaking get this, and they're gonna be... Uh, what gear do I want? Third again? Yeah, third's fine. The, the clutch feels like... Uh, Tercel? Uh, like, like... It, like yeah. it's on an engine much smaller than it is. Yeah, without boost. The yeah. shift throw is long, but it is secure. It doesn't wobble too much. Yeah. That's steering fun. steering is on the heavy side, but I like that. It's. It probably would feel it heavier if it didn't have the factory 15 inch mm. 60 profile wheel tire combo. Which is where some of like the softness feel comes from. True. Okay, here's the road. Oh, who's going? There. Two of the three. Two of the three. Is it kosher to go around this guy at the slide, or should I wait? I mean, well, it seems like they're going two seconds anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is everybody's going. There. Okay, they're waving. Thank you. Wave. I'm not going to nail it because I want to feel the turn. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> there. It it's elastic, too. Yeah. It really is. It's that 90s boost. Yeah. But like, it's still, it's way more. Yeah, so this is gonna be on these tires. You know, it's, it has a bu buzzy engine, so you're not, you're not hearing the turbo. No. I don't. No, you can't. Yeah, no. But and whoever gets correct. it, please don't put a bro, bro, bro off valve bro. on this. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's not. It, this isn't the car you do that to. And if you do, if you bro off, if you if you make this car loud, you're you're ruining the entire point of what this is. It's, it's made to be like a little sewing machine. What did I drive recently that had? Oh, it's not. The order of the video is not out yet. But I drove another Japanese car, USDM one, that was very sewing machine esque, and uh, so it's very smooth for an inline four. Right, it's not like, rough. The normal inline four, I mean, like your three S GTEs and you know and your Honda is like, they're much more vibrant. Yeah, you know, they're angry. They're angry. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm serious. Take ah, me seriously. I'm serious. Rev, rev, rev. This, yeah, this just, is, this just feels like it's a. Healthier. Yeah. It feels a little bit more like a straight six, just in that way. Mm -hmm. That it's just so buttery smooth. Do I want to go straight or turn? Yes. Or, okay, yeah. Mostly because I don't know where those go. <laughs> okay. I think one of them goes to a little housing development. You can turn around, but I forget which one. Yeah. Freaking pulls. Oh, what are you breaking for this corner for? <laughs> yeah, this. Ford 500. Man. 
<laughs> you were talking to me about your instructing days, how you yes. it was kind of hard to turn that off when you were on the street a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But this 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 is confidence inspiring. And the visibility is unlimited. Yeah, because nice 90s free airbag pillars. Yeah. Well, actually this thing doesn't have an airbag, so yeah. Japan, bro. We're not concerned with these kinds of things. Don't crash. <laughs> Road flooded, that's an old sign. Mm -hmm. Hasn't rained here for like a week. <laughs> we're thinking the tires were repainted at some point. The wheels, yeah. Oh, excuse me, we, what am I, what yeah. did I say, tires? Tires, yeah. yeah. But That'd speaking, be weirder. Yeah. That'd be weirder. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of tires, whoever had, the, like, who, the previous owner, this, this was brought to the United States, not by you, mm -hmm. it lived a little bit in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, presumably yeah. in a hermetically sealed bubble for the last two years or yeah, something like I mean, that. Yeah, I think maybe he had like one of those NASA vacuum simulators. Yeah. You know? Or, or like, yeah, like the, uh, how the R35 is built in a hermetically sealed lab. Yeah. So there's no dust particles to get in. I think this is where this was stored. He didn't skimp on the tires either. There were Toyo. Yeah, Toyo something or others. Yeah. But like, nobody puts Toyos on anymore. Kumo, a Sumitomo, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was, uh, I'll tell the, the origin story of this car. Um, in the mid-80s, Mitsubishi was rallying, and they wanted to run a Group B car, so they were going to take the Starion, and they had developed this, the 4G63T, drivetrain, for that car. Then in 86, that was the last season of Group B, because too many people died, so for 88, the 6th Gen Gallant, which is this, was brand new. They took the guts for G63 and the all-wheel drive system, put it into this car, went world rally racing in this car for four years, won six races, mm -hmm. but the wheelbase was just too long. It was like a full-size car. So in 94, they took this drivetrain out and put it in the much smaller, lighter and shorter wheelbase new car they had called the Lancer. Yes. And thus was born the first Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. then of course went on to World Rally fame in the uh, Evolution 4 and 5. And became a lifestyle in its own right. And this yes. is Lancer before Lancer. Yep. This is the drivetrain. This is your Evo drivetrain up until the 9. I'm gonna start looking for a place to turn around. Yes, this is where we were last time. Yeah. We think, actually, right here. All right, here's good. That's, yeah, that's pretty big. Uh, we can do a full UE in there. Four wheel steering? Yep. Yep. Interestingly, the four wheel steering activates at 30 miles an hour. Oh, what? So that what we didn't do yeah. it then? Nope. So here's the deal. So the four wheel steering in these. Uh, activated at 30 and you stayed in the same phase of steering for the front and rear wheels up to 1.5 degrees of steering angle okay so obviously that was uh that was very new at the time and again the gtr made it much more famous mm -hmm. um but uh yeah it was uh it's probably part of why like it, it feels more nimble than you would expect a car right. effectively looks like an 80s Camry. Yeah. Yeah. Just has the period correct 80s body kit. Yeah. And the cool uh, hood heat extractors that are actually functional. Mm -hmm. Speaking of heat, I'm going to go for... Yeah, we're gonna actually, go. that's a weird thing. The negative is I can't... You can't instinctively control your heater here. Yeah. I'm just going to go off, which is probably why which the wear marks... On auto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say that makes sense. All the it's other a, it's, it's all black buttons. Touch. It's all 80s stuff. Let's make the HVAC controls as complicated as we can because there's really nothing else going on this before smart anything. Oh, this is this is a delight. It really, it really yeah. is that rubber band. And for a big long car, you know, like this is a, this is kissing 3,300 pounds, mm -hmm. which is effectively what the modern Evos were. Mm -hmm. The 8s and the 9s were right around there. You know, they said 237 left... horse versus 286 in the USDM. Still haven't left Evos. third gear. Yeah, I mean, it's really like a third gear road for this car. Yeah. 
but I, I I'm surprised like they didn't go like full nine with this thing and just do a dog leg first. That'd yeah, be, well, that'd be kind of neat. It was that vintage for the German stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I am getting an E30 vibe yes. of the way this, uh, 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 yep. uh, I wonder, that, well, not all 80s, like really, well, we're kind of coming off of the body thing, but are they, did they kind of do a little bit? Is it, yeah, it's I not mean, really I meant mean, to compete with- Let's talk about the Starion, right? Well, true. The Starion was, was a straight rip off of the Porsche 944. Mm. So, <laughs> it's like disturbingly fast. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't feel like 237 horsepower in a 3,300-pound car. No. Oh, my goodness. There I can hear the turbo. You can, yeah, it whistles just, a little yeah, bit over at 6,000 yeah. RPM. Yeah, it's just... Uh, it's staying straight. It's staying straight. Yeah. There's more steering input than you'd expect. Yes. Perhaps just the wheel's larger. The wheel is a big diameter. Mm -hmm. That was immediately obvious after coming off the, the Subaru. It had a similar, you know, like large diameter thin versus the German, you know, smaller diameter thick. Yeah. Which I think makes it feel even bigger when it's thin. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> that, that was, I was just kissed the red line there at 7,000. In the, in the lane. Yeah, it is. We are coming up. No, I should probably. Oh, uh, it, it, it it just like leans, it just leans back. The, 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 the <laughs> soft, the, the soft yeah. suspension makes it squat a yeah. little bit. Yeah. But it's okay because you got. I, I wonder what the torque split is between the front and the back. Or if it's ag, it's, it says uh, I don't center. Know if it is full time, four wheel drive, center center diff. It says center diff, but it's a three piece drive shaft, and there's not actually like it's not like a diff in the center of the car. So I don't know what they're what yeah, they're no, referring it's on the back to. Of the trans. Okay. Just like a, a Toyota all wheel drive at the time. It just freaking pulls though. I have a little. There are marks on the tachometer. Yes. There's a yellow one and a, and a red one there. Yeah, you like that? So red is where peak horsepower, peak horsepower like most turbo cars is not at red line. Right. Uh, it's before it's at six, whereas red line is seven. Uh, who has the right of way here at Dwight? Uh, whoever's here first. All right, I was so here first. Go. Okay. The yellow I think was, oh yeah, you just heard a little bit of stock blow off there. There it is. <laughs> Uh, just yeah. a little whisper. Not yeah. gonna pick that up on audio. If you shift really fast, you don't really hear it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. give it mm -hmm. give it a second to yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think that yellow may be the early um, economy shifting RPM to my ah. second SL one. Because that was a ninety-three and it had the little light would come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shift now <laughs> for least possible amount of fun. I think Jeeps did that too. Did they? You got a manual Jeep, but it, but it was just like a I'm spitting because I'm excited and I'm back in the '90s again. <laughs> um, it, it, it just had an arrow that would pop yes. up. I think they That's did the Saturn it. Saturn had. Mm. It had a, a, light, a lighted arrow. Yeah. An up arrow. Yeah. 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 This just has a, a fixed one. We're not yelling at you. We're just suggesting. I'm sorry for people watching this. I'm just uh, sun's just a little bit in my eyes. Right. Coming down the wild wild west. Uh, Sunset here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's like it's like disturbingly fast. Yeah, this is fifth gear. It's not really sort of anything. Well, I mean, it's no, an engine but like at the this point. still there. Yeah, because this may this it's basically square. It's two thirty seven horse, two thirty seven torque. Sweet. But yeah, it's just, it just like pulled you back into these nice, you know. Couch, couch cushion uh, seats. Yeah, we were talking like they, these seats are not Japanese esque. No, this is this a, is an American DSM game. Uh, ah, yeah. Chrysler influence is strong in these seats. <laughs> and our rear door uh, ashtrays. Yeah. Right. Yep. <laughs> that was an American. Right that, piece. Yes. Yeah. No cup holders though. Nope. This is a serious car. Yeah. No, the. The WRX wagon had cup holders. It's a very fancy pop-out cup holders. Yeah, this thing has nothing. Yeah. Do you see what I mean about a little bit of 
of like the yeah. Italian driving position. The steering wheel is kind of like an inch to the left where you would think it would be. You know, I'm not, I can see it now, but I didn't really notice it. it didn't I guess I was just paying attention to everything else. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was more exciting things to pay attention to. Yeah. But I kind of like that. That's like a little bit of like the racing heritage. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just put it near where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> I have yet to drive a Lancia. I suppose they do that too. Well, I don't think very many people have ever driven a Lancia because they'd have to start them. <laughs> drive them. Yeah. They don't like to do that. It's like the old Top Gear bit. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy's interview with Jeff Goldblum. He talked about his friend. He talked about his, his friend had a, uh, a Lancia when he was younger. Right? I'm biting my lip. Long. This is sec. I think it. You, I think it's what you said because it's square. Yes. It's happy nearly anywhere in the rev line. Yeah. I mean, literally at three grand, like you're already in the torque beat. Yeah. Peak torque is, I think, right around four, which is where most of the turbo two liters were back then. The three SGTs were there, you know. Two liter inline four cylinders. Ooh. Freaky, right? It's freaky. This thing is so good. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. I totally is. It's almost like the definition of that. Yeah. I mean, the car I'll nerds. Throw, throw next to the truck again. Car nerds, when they see it, are gonna freak the frick out. Everybody else just thinks this is just some old. Is that a Nissan? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you would be forgiven for for mistaking it for like a Nissan Stanza. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, right. Well, thank you, Justin. This was a real treat. I hope whoever gets this, you're going to love this. Somebody will love it. It's way faster than I thought it would be. Yeah. It's, really a lot faster. This is, this is not as practical. Yeah, the flip is on like right. that. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on. Oh, fogs as well? Yeah. <laughs> it's fully dummy proof. Yeah. Uh, and the fitment on this door. I know, like, it, it really is. It does remind me of the, the 70s, 80s Porsche. The thinness of the door handle.